So after a big start to the season with the Australian Open coming to an end, we go look forward now to the next couple of weeks because some of the biggest names that are played in the Australian Open, of course, the Sinner and Medvedev and Djokovic's of the tour. We're going to find out where they're actually going to be playing or where they could be playing over the next couple of weeks. Let's go have a look at the calendar. So we've picked out the five big names that everybody's probably thinking, where do they play next? Djokovic, Djokovic, Sinner, Medvedev, and also Rafa Nadal, who's expected to come back soon. So next week, none of them are playing. They're all taking a couple of weeks off after a long Australian Open campaign. And we're on the 12th of February. We're expected to see Alcaraz in Buenos Aires. He's playing the clay court events in February, which is kind of interesting. And both Sinner and Medvedev are expected to play in Rotterdam, where they actually made, both made the final last year, played each other. So that's where we could see them in a week. Djokovic and Nadal are not entered in any tournaments during that week. Then we head to the 19th of February, and that's when we see the return of Rafa, potentially in Doha. Now, he is on the entry list, so we can only expect him to be there unless something comes up in the next couple of weeks. Medvedev also expected to play there, and while that's happening, Alcaraz will be playing in Rio in the 500 event that he's played the last couple of years. Sinner and Djokovic are not scheduled to play during that time, so not sure what they're going to do there, especially Sinner, because he's going to have a week off after Rotterdam. So taking a look at the 26th of February, there are actually only one player from the bunch that's playing, and that's Medvedev. He's going to Dubai to defend that title, but the other four guys will not be playing at this stage. Now, they could get wild cards, of course. Nadal could get a wild card late into Dubai or Sinner if he wants to go that way, or maybe even in Acapulco. If these guys want to play last minute, they might get a chance, but very interested to see that Djokovic has got no tournament scheduled between the Australian Open and, of course, the week after this will be Indian Wells. So the start of the Sunshine Doubles. So very interested to see there that Djokovic won't be playing any tournaments or at least not scheduled to play any tournaments. But there are other players like Medvedev who are playing almost every week from now until the Sunshine Double. So there it is. That is what we're expecting over the February month, of course. Everybody's going to be playing Indian Wells and Miami. Of course, Djokovic couldn't play the last two years. Now he can play because he's allowed back in America. And Nadal, depending on his health, will be playing those events as well. But let me know down in the comments below. Who are you most excited to see in February? Of course, tennis never stops. The Australian Open might be over, but we've got plenty of tennis coming up over the next couple of weeks in February. Also some Davis Cup as well, but none of those names are actually playing Davis Cup. But let me know down in the comments below. Who are you most excited to see come back in February?